Hey guys, I wanted to share a video on how to update your MC101. So if you go here to the support tab at Roland.com, go to where it says updates and drivers, and then click through the H through M and scroll down until we find MC101. And then right here, we'll see the updates and drivers. So this is where all the drivers are gonna be for uh, connecting to your computer. And then the system program version 1.50. Uh, this is the latest uh, MC101 system program version and it came out uh, June 2020. And this is gonna tell you a brief summary of like uh, what they've added uh, throughout all the uh, versions. So we're gonna go down here and we're gonna agree and wish to proceed with download. Download the file. And then we're gonna come to our downloads and we'll see it right here. This is the MC101 underscore UPA underscore UP dot BIN. I'm just gonna drag that onto my desktop and then go ahead and exit out of here. And then on my 101, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the SD card and then place it into my computer. And then you see right here, um, the MC 101 popped up as a, as a drive. And so what we need to do is now take this bin file and put it into the root menu of the MC101. And you can do that simply by dragging and dropping. And there it is. Uh, this is the root menu. So um, if they ever ask or if you're ever curious about what the root menu is, it's this one right here, right where the uh, Roland folder is. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and exit out of here. Right click on the uh, on the drive and eject it. And then take it out of my computer. Place it back into the 101. And then we're going to start the update. And to update it, very simple hold shift while powering on and continue to hold shift until the screen displays the update UPC0-APP and then just leave it like this it's going to take about a minute or two but you know in this time it's real good to make sure that whenever you're doing any sort of update make sure that you have a uh, a power source, uh, a stable one, like right now I have it connected to a uh, little battery pack or fresh batteries or if you have it connected to your computer or what have you. Um, just because you don't want this to lose power during the update because that could you know cause damages to the uh, unit or you know to your SD card. So while that's updating, we could go ahead and look at, you know, the features that they just added. So <coughs> this one right here is probably the biggest. So the sound pack slash um, SVZ file imports. So this is going to work with like Roland Cloud and the new Xenology so if you make a tone within Xenology, you'll be able to export it from Xenology and be able to load it onto the MC101. Uh, another big one is the uh, the chord mode and some, some more shortcuts. Uh, we could find all of this right here in the owner's manual. under the MC 101 update.
so now you'll see um, with the MC 101 update it's going to give you the latest version and um, all the other versions prior so there's the 150 there's the 1 1.3 and then 1.20 so let's go back up here to the MC 101 um, so this one is kind of new so you have to do this whenever you're um, whenever you're done updating the the MC 101 I'm going to show you what to do next because you do have to do a um, a format to the SD card so you could get this um, sound file folder and that sound file folder is going to be the one where you're you upload your content from Xenology so if I go back here you'll see that the update is now complete I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out my SD card and I'm gonna put it back into my computer and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to make a backup of what's on there before I uh, format the SD come over here copy this folder paste that folder and mine has quite a bit of stuff on there I got MIDI files I got a whole bunch of user samples like a whole bunch of user samples a whole bunch of MIDI files so um, as soon as this is done I'll go ahead and show you a little bit more and you'll see um, on my SD card it does have that sound folder but that's only because um, I did this last night and I just wanted to show you a video today about how to actually go about it so once that's done eject put the uh, SD card back into the MC 101 power on as normal and then you'll see the version 1.50 on the bottom right corner that's gonna let you know that you know it's successfully installed and from here I'm gonna hold shift and go to utility by pressing the filter button I'm going to cursor over to SD card format. I'm going to hit OK. Now that it's completed, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off take my SD card and put it back into my computer and now you'll see the sound folder and all your other stuff right here so what I'm gonna do now is actually open up my backup <coughs> go to sound and you'll see I have some sounds already loaded from Xenology just gonna copy those over drag those in there go to my groove box and then put my MIDI files go to my projects copy all my projects and then lastly my sample folder and grab all my samples and 
And so right here, this is the uh, Xenology stuff. Um, it looks like it's going to take a bit for all this to load in. So let me go ahead and show you that on Ableton. So if I go here to my plugins, I go to Rolling Cloud, and then I load Xenology. Now you'll see I have all this stuff. So I could go here, change out the tone. So I could go through any one of these tones. Once I find the one I would like, click on it. And if I want to export it, I go right, export, no, sorry, select a bank. Let's do row number one, test, and then write that pluck right there export for hardware and this is called wild pluck and save it and then now we should see that on my desktop right there and so from here <coughs> what you would do is grab this SVZ file and just drop that into the sound folder on the uh, SD card. So roll in sound, and drop it in there. Once the SD card is completed, eject. Put it back into the MC. And so right now we'll go to a tone track. And then we're going to load that that wild pluck so sound so in the browser you'll see the preset project wave file and now sound file so let me show you again so go to sound we have preset project wave file and sound so we go to sound and then we find that that uh, that sound that we just created, the wild pluck, load it up. Now I have it there. Chord mode. So yeah, that's the. Um, I guess that's a little twofer right there. I showed you how to. Um, get the update on the MC-101, and then I guess uh, export a SVZ file from Xenology and put it on your MC-101. So I hope this helps out. If you guys have any questions, please send me a message below, write a comment, or you know, send me an email, whatever you'd like. I'm here to help.